गाइस हाउस इट गोइंग वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड वेलकम इफ यू आर न्यू आई एम नैनिका एंड आई मेक बुक रिलेटेड वीडियोस एंड आई हैव बीन काइंड ऑफ एम आई एन यूट्यूब फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम बट दैट इज बिकॉज आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द फाइनल मंथ एंड देन द फाइनल स्वीक ऑफ माई थर्ड सेमेस्टर सो आई जस्ट गॉट कॉट अप विथ वर्क बट या आई जस्ट सबमिटेड माई लास्ट सबमिशन Uh, the last paper this morning so i'm officially done with uni for the semester and i am going to celebrate it by going out traveling not really traveling but like sightseeing exploring delhi so this is another episode in the delhi diaries um but yeah that's it and i thought i'll take you along as i do my makeup today because i don't know what sort of content um i will remember to you know um we got today because simply because i haven't done this in a really long time so let's see again lots of noise that's very for you but yeah i'll just start getting ready and maybe i'll fast forward this bit so it's not as comical but I'm going for the denim on denim look today, and I've got this bag, obviously Sarojini. Uh, yeah, excited. <laughs>
So we're back from Derya Ganj and I thought I would show you what all three of us got. got. Um, actually, we were five girls, but two of them had to leave, so it's just us three right now. So first, I'll show you what my friend Shrishti got. Shrishti is my classmate. We've been friends since the first semester. <laughs> so yeah, um, the first book she got is Finding Delhi: Loss and Renewal in the Mega City, which I think is for her dissertation. So uh, she got it for one hundred, Hana. Yeah. So. Uh, then she got the best of Sherlock Holmes for 100. I'm sure you've heard of it. My favorite is um, actually Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot, personally. But the yeah, Sherlock Holmes is a classic. Mm, then lastly, she got Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie for 150. We might need it for a paper next semester. Let's see how it pans out. But so these are all the three books that Rushdie got. Really great finds actually and she got a lot of stationery as well. So hey guys, my friends just left and I thought I would give you an update about the book haul, my own book haul. So um, you know the young is a place where you can buy books as well as stationery. So in terms of stationery, I'll just show you the first thing that I got, very um, novel stuff. I got this um, notebook, pretty nice just for 60 rupees and I got this set of like gel pen 10 or 11 gel pens and i got it for 90. now moving on to the books so i got this book on literary theory because i am a literature student this one came for very loud this one came for just 50. um this one is by terry eagleton so um, obviously it's going to be very helpful then i have um jumpa lahiri's jumpa lahiri's the lowland um, came for 100 it is an original hardcover so I'm really happy it also came with a bookmark so I really like the cover uh, then we also have Pathir Panchali I haven't read it yet and I really want to it's such a classic in Indian literature this copy came for 100 and it's from Bloomsbury so yeah it's again uh, original so then uh, moving on I have this collection of stories from Edith Wharton the Muse's Tragedy and Other Stories, um, a vintage copy. This one is from Penguin and it came for 100 again. So really excited to read it. I haven't read Edith Wharton before and obviously it's time I start. Then I have this collection of short stories, horror slash mystery and other stories of mystery and suspense by Joyce Carol Oates. I've got Lovely Dark and Deep by her. Haven't read it but I really intend to read that soon. So obviously, yeah, again, 100. Um, almost, we're almost at the end. I also got this book called Nectar in a Sea by Kamala Markandeya. And this one came for um, just 50. Got it because it's an Indian classic. And again, lovely um, book set in a village in southern India shortly after India gained independence. So, really excited. The two last books that I got were both for 50 rupees each. So, I got both of these two books at just 100. These are these two books. Firstly, we have got The Children of Urin by J.R.R. Tolkien and Unfinished Tales um, of Numenor and Middle Earth. Now, I know about this because I have read uh, The Silmarillion. Basically, if you have read The Silmarillion or, or if you have The Silmarillion, I don't think you need to buy this book um, other, like as an extra, but uh, I got it for 50 and I wanted, I wanted to get it for collection's sake. So 50 and this one. It's a much thicker one. I got it for um, 50, so really happy. I read Silmarillion last year, really loved it. So, uh, really excited to get all of these books. Hey guys, so there's a lot of noise going on. There's a lot of, there's a construction right next to the, next to our place. So, um, I'm gonna try to wrap this up really quick. Now I'm gonna show you all the books that my friend Lavanya got. All of these books came at just 100 each. So the first one, which I will be borrowing from her, is this one, 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. I'm assuming it's a collection of brilliant essays. If you have read it, let me know what you thought about it. Um, then we have Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Unfortunately, as you all know, I'm not much of a non-fiction reader, so I can't enlighten you much about any of these. But once again, I'm sh I've heard that these books that I'll be sharing today are some of the best non-fiction out there so if you are interested you can definitely check out these books and uh, then we have Karma a yogi's guide to crafting your destiny by Sadhguru uh, moving on we have shoe dog by Phil Knight again haven't read this book but I've seen it everywhere uh, again the noise just started 
then I have The Art of Happiness by the Dairaba and um, yeah and the last non-fiction book that I have here which I might borrow from her is this one it's called Good Vibes Good Life by Dex King can you see it now yeah uh, the next books that I'll oh no I've got two more non-fiction but these are not these two non-fiction are not like um, you know motivational self-help or anything like that we've got sapiens a brief history of mankind and the sequel to it which is called homo Deus, a brief history of tomorrow both of these books are yuval noah harari i'm sure you guys have heard of it very very popular then the three fictional books i have here love and your god are norwegian wood by haruki murakami and i haven't read yet murakami yet so let me know which murakami you think i should start with if you have read murakami that is uh, then we also have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I've heard great things about it and I have read um, Looking for Alaska Looking for Alaska by John Green. Really liked it. And then um, Lavinia also got this book by Ruskin Bond, The Room of Many Colors. Again, I think it's a beautiful cover but I personally haven't read it. So yeah, despite all of the noise, I um, I am grateful if you watch till the very end, especially the vlog. I'm still getting back to, I'm still getting back into the group, you know, of filming and all of that. So, um, just bear with me for the next couple, for the next couple of videos, maybe. I'll see you all very soon. I hope you enjoyed this little clip of me enjoying these two days after my um, exam, after I'm done with my, after I was done with my um, finals for the third semester. So yeah. That's it. I hope you all subscribe if you haven't already because I will be sharing some more updates very, very soon. And until then, I hope you take care of yourself. Peace out. I love you all. Thank you for supporting. Bye-bye.